Okay, here's how you insert photos into a layout and print them for the bride to hand out at her or use as place settings. I already created a layout that has three spots for photos. She sent me the three photos that she wants input. So I'm going to go into the layout editor and inside of the layout editor itself, I'm in 5.0. So let me make it a little smaller here. Uh, as you can see, I've got a layout, got three photos on the left, three photos on the right. She wants a photo strip. She's going to put in a little frames and it's going to hand out at the, at the uh, reception. What you do is you'd get the photos by getting add an image file. You'd go to where you got those three photos at. You add the first photo here and click open and it's great big. But you want to make it the same size as the photo box. And I do recall the photo boxes were 550 wide. So you click on the photo and you make it 550 wide just by typing in 550. Hit enter and place this right on top of the first one. Okay. Now what I do is once I get it placed on top there, I move it up a little bit so that I can delete the red one underneath it. And I just click on the red one underneath it and hit the delete key. And now I can move this back down to that spot right about there. Close enough. Click on add another image. Go get the second photo. Second photo I want to use was this one here. You click it open. It's great big. It's got to be 550. So I make that 550, 550 and enter, place that on top of the second photo box right here, right there, move it up a little bit so that I can delete the blue one underneath, click on the blue one, hit the delete key, drop this back down to where it was before, right about here, close enough, okay. Uh, actually, we want to have that at 25. Make this one at 25. Only because I know that 25 and 25 is 50, plus the 550 is the 600. Now, let's go get the third photo. And that's the two of them kissing right here. We want to make it 550. 550. Click Enter. Move this down to the third photo box right about there. Right underneath it, click the green one. Get rid of the green one. Drop this down to about where the line up on the two on the right side are. I'm just using the arrow key to move it down. And right about there looks good. And I said before, I want to make that 25 on the left. Then I click away from it. Now, Instead of doing the same thing on the right side, I am just going to delete all three boxes on the on the right. And now I'm going to click onto each one of these by holding down the shift key. Okay, and then I'm going to hit control and C to copy and control and V to paste. It has pasted all three of them. I move them all over to the right. right about there should be perfect and you are all set to go as Jorge said you can preview it save it I'm going to preview it it's going to preview an urban view okay preview is coming up now there's the preview you'd save the photo save it in urban view I'm outside of my window here but I'm hit file and save and I'm going to save it to my desktop and it names it whatever it's saved okay and then on my desktop you'll see I now have this new photo right here and when I open it up I can print directly from there but I would suggest instead of printing from there to take that photo, 
put it into the saved folder in Urban View, I mean in in Spark Booth, whatever your saved saving folder is. Okay, let me get it up here. Do 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 do. Come on, bring it back up. Whatever your saving folder in Spark Booth is, in this case it's my testing saving testing folder. I would take that image, I'm going to go back to my desktop, and I'm going to say, take this folder, this, this picture, and either cut it or copy it, and put it in the same folder that I had over here called testing, and I'm going to paste it in here, because once it's in here, it's in my testing folder, I'm going to close the testing folder. Now over in Spark Booth, I can actually go into the gallery that should open up my testing folder, and here it is. And now you can print them right from your gallery, and they will print exactly the way you wanted. And if you're using a die sub printer that cuts it, they'll all be cut. And you'll have to print the 75 to get 150 prints. That's how simple it is. If you want to get a little more elaborate with it inside of the Spark Booth 5.0, you can actually go back into the layout editor where it's at. And as Rob had said, you can actually put a frame around it by adding an effect and called glow. But this one here, we're going to make it a, a black frame couple more notches up make this about an 8 and make this about a 10 and then we do the same thing on each one of these folders each one of these pictures add the effect glow make it black make it 8 make it 10 as you can see here it's really simple and quick to do Make it black, make it eight, make it ten, make it black, make it eight, and this is in 5.0, so these can really be done rather quickly, make it eight. Ten, make it eight, make it ten. Okay, so now you've got it, and now if you'd resave the picture, okay, resave the picture as you did before by previewing it and saving it in your in your saving folder and print it from the spark booth itself right to your die sub printer and then it'll be cut and saved that's how simple it is